Okay. That's quick. <laughs> um, Joe, obviously you haven't played a lot of matches. Do you think do you think that was the factor today? Um, I think definitely. Um, it's it's an unfortunate thing. It's it's part of the sport and it's part of I think also the way I play. Um, and it's something that will come with time and, and matches and um, I think ultimately the main thing was uh, to start playing again and I am and, and um, how I physically felt out there is obviously a massive tick for me compared to where I was in September last year so um, I mean yeah I mean before Brisbane I, I'd, I'd been out for almost yeah four four and a half months so it's, it's been it's quite, quite a bit of time not far off getting a protected ranking so um, I think giving myself that time to to find the level that I want to play is, is going to be important and um, yeah I mean I have to play a very good opponent <laughs> so uh, you know it's it's not all on my racket <laughs> I think your serve was you know, slower than it would have been if you'd been maybe playing sort of full schedule is, is that like a confidence thing or or is it physical part of it? um uh, to be honest, not too sure. I mean, the conditions were quite cool, so there there is going to be a reaction to that with the ball. Um, it's not going to fly through the air as quick. Um, but then, for sure, that I mean, when it comes to service speed, there's definitely parts of that to you know how your rhythm is, or how um, also how you feel it during the match and how you play. I mean, I think that also comes with matches. Um, but I didn't. I didn't feel like I served badly. Um, just I didn't feel I was necessarily that that effective against my opponent today. <coughs> you you uh, played her in Eastbourne, of course, and she won there. Did you expect it to be as difficult as she proved to be? Oh, one hundred percent. I I I expected her to play well against me. I expected her to to be inspired to play well, and and she's the kind of player that also once gets on a bit of a roll that also unleashes more of her creativity and more of her uh, predictableness and, and, and that's also why she's very difficult to play and um, it was unfortunate that I couldn't quite find a way to make things more difficult for her and, and just find a way to to um, <coughs> ask some more questions of her um, but yeah I guess that's just where, where we are right now. And how, how did the knee feel today and is, I mean can you go back and just sort of start immediately working towards another tournament or do you have more kind of um, I think recuperation to well do this or? this is a big part of m me returning to play I, I, I you know I knew that I, I by taking a decision to come play here I was opening myself up to to potentially it not going well or, or for it to be difficult and it's always difficult to come back playing after a, you know a certain amount of time and um, but what was good today was my knee felt quite good and it was actually even better than Brisbane so that's a very positive thing for me especially for where I was in September um, so yeah definitely that's a good uh, a big positive and, and something that I'm very pleased about moving forwards. Did you give serious consideration to missing Australia altogether? Um, it was it was part of the discussion it was it, it was as much part of it as coming here so it wasn't so much of deciding to come or not come, it was kind of being open to all eventualities. I was also prepared that when I came out, that we'll, we'll see also when I'm out here, but uh, there was no indication for me not to play, um, but equally my return to play protocol and things like that, I didn't complete back home, I completed here. So that was a decision I took with my team and, and how I felt to be able to do that. But. Um, again, really happy I did that. Um, I think there's no other place to be able to come back to match play than in matches. Do you think you'll have a full schedule this year, or will it be just a case of wait and see how the body pulls up? I mean, I'm, I'm playing a full schedule, but obviously it will depend on what tournaments I play. Um, we're still deciding now of, of where to do what to do. Do you think there's any chance you might reconsider your decision to play Fed Cup or to sorry not play Fed Cup? Um, no, not not as of now. Um, again, it's it's um, a decision encompassing a, a number of things. Um, but uh, yeah, as of now, no. Uh, 
Joe, your, your return to play protocol in newspaper language, could we call that a fitness test, or is it more complicated than that? No, it's more complicated than that. Than that. So, for example, with the way that, that I was even coming back to playing tennis, it was all about moderating um, kind of the load levels of how, how much I do one day, then bringing it back down, then bringing it back up, and then kind of doing this, essentially. Um, and that's just to re um, reintroduce my knee to loading and to consistent loading to then hopefully then it being being able to withstand hopefully um, back to back high loads when I'm playing a tournament for example when I'm playing matches all the way to the end so it's more that so it was then to challenge it to play matches which I didn't do at home which I started here when I came out. So are you going to get on the plane feeling actually not bad at all about yourself even though you, you didn't win a match? Yeah, should should I feel bad about myself for not winning a match? No, but I'm saying that <laughs> the balance between you didn't get any points, but on the other, on the upside, you feel like you might be able to. Um, to, to I mean, play obvious, more. obviously, I play this sport because I I love to compete and I love to win and I love to go deep in tournaments and I work towards lifting trophies and that's why I play. That's I do love about that sport. However. What fulfills me from the sport is how it feels to learn, how it feels to grow, how it feels to to um, to work with great people. To that, and that's a day to day fulfillment. Um, so overall, for me, losing this match here or losing my match in Brisbane, um, that doesn't change that day to day fulfillment. So no, I'm fine. <laughs> um, so do you know where you might play next to? Uh, not decided yet. Not sure. We'll see how we how we do things. <laughs> is surgery an option you've discussed with your team? If the knee for if what? The, if the knee injury doesn't improve, perhaps over the next twelve months is. But it it is improving. It is improved. Okay. I mean, I, I'm not going to cut myself open <laughs> just no, for the no. hell of it. <laughs> no. Um, n no, like. It's never been discussed in the last no, couple of months. Not for what I have, no. and not for the severity of what I had. It's not necessary. Oh, sorry. Um, Joe, you, you say, can you just, I assume that all things being equal, you would definitely play Indian Wells and Miami, would you? And maybe oh, 100%. Look, so Indian, look to Indian Wells Miami are definitely playing. That. It's just in between of how many and where. And are there any options you can mention about tournaments you might look at? I mean, I know I'm currently um, entered into, um, actually I'm currently entered into Dubai, Doha and Monterey. Um, but then obviously seeing if maybe St. Petersburg or maybe not, I don't know, there's... I'm not entered there, so then it's just a question of what if there are any wild cards of it. It's you know it's that kind of question, so I don't know yet. And then how many, all of them, only a few of them. We we yeah, we won't make that decision today. Do you feel ideally that you'd be fit to to play two or three of those? And I think that's part of the conversation. It's just how to schedule it. Um, obviously, Indian Wells and Miami is a. It's four weeks of tournaments, four weeks, obviously two tournaments, but it's four weeks of, of being on the road and then just seeing how we can, how we can, um, yeah, schedule it with that in mind as well and hopefully to have enough opportunity to play as well. Thank you. Thank you.